Uh, I joined ATEP as a white settler interested in allyship, and I didn't know what any of those words meant until later in the course. I really just wanted to learn more, and the program really changed my life. In ATEP, I really um, had the urge to research about Indigenous women's art, and something that Dr. Lindsay Markham, um, you know, uh, helped me figure out was that I needed to broaden my horizons and really dig down deep to figure out what I wanted to change and how I was going to change it. I made so many close friends who all had the same interests as me. Um, we are all interested in social justice. We were all interested in indigenous uh, and settler relationships in Canada. And we all just cared so deeply for one another and it was just a very beautiful thing. I created Modern Métis Women which is an incorporated non-for-profit charity that provides post-secondary scholarships to Métis women in Canada. And it also provides a platform for Indigenous women to express their artwork and passion for education. While I was in the ATEP program, I had an opportunity to go to the University of Sydney, Australia, under the supervision of Dr. Philip, and assist with the integration of Indigenous artwork. The learning was hands-on, it was culturally based and we went out on the land um, and did a lot of like traditional practices. It was so great and all, all of the things I've learned I've been able to apply in my job here. And here is Pekanjikum First Nation, a northern First Nation community in northwestern Ontario, which is where I am teaching now and I'm also enrolled in a part-time Masters of Education in World Indigenous Studies through Queen's. After being an ATEP I have completely changed the course of my life um, and it's the best thing I've ever done.